You know, I've gotten a lot of questions from people about the new Smith & Wesson 360 that I just recently purchased. One being, people are saying, well, what's the difference between this and the ones of the past? Because a lot of people are like, well, I used to have that gun and uh, either didn't like it or loved it or whatever. And they're like, well, why is it new now? Well, it's new now because it is in 357 Magnum. The previous ones were 38 Special Plus P and they had a fluted uh cylinder here. This one's got the unfluted cylinder. So there's a little bit of a difference between them, especially that chambering, that caliber chambering. But people are asking me, what do I think of this now that I have it? Because these guns are notoriously uh, painful to shoot. They have a reputation of being very snappy and very uh, abusive on your hands. So I wanted to do a quick little video here giving my initial impressions of this gun. But first I'm going to have to address the front sight here because I do not have a sight on this right now. It came with the little red ramped front sight and I just absolutely hate those. Now the first sight I thought I was going to put on it was one that I already had here, which is a fiber optic sight from Hi-Viz. But then I remembered, up, oh, these are only for three inch or longer barrels. So the sight itself is actually too long to fit on the little flat spot on the barrel. So I had to get a different sight. And what I got in there is that little XS dot sight. Now this is the standard size dot sight. So I'm going to put this on the gun. So before we go any further, I'm going to stop. I'm going to put the new sight on it, drill this out real quick, and then we'll be back to the review. Okay, now that I've got it all drilled out here, I've got to put the pin back in it and this sight will be installed. So let's grab the little pin. Hold on. Where's the, where's the freaking cup? Holy fuck balls. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Mother fuck. God damn it. What? I threw away a cup I need. It, it had a little, it just had a little tiny part in it I need. The cup's still in the garbage, but the part's just too small. I'm not going to be able to find it. I'll order a new one. Can't be that much. Motherfucker. God damn it. Okay, because of unforeseen circumstances, I'm not going to be able to finish installing the site today, but you can still see what it looks like here. It's just a regular little uh, XS Big Dot site, but this is their standard size site, so it's a little smaller. Actually works better on these little J frames I have found in my experience. But I wanted to give them a little bit of a description of what I have found about this gun since I've owned it or what I've thought of this gun since I've been shooting it. So take a second here, let everybody know, liking this gun a lot. Now this is an air weight, so it is a scandium frame, but it has a stainless steel unfluted cylinder and a stainless steel sleeve in the barrel, which makes this gun very light. Now, usually guns this light that shoot 357 Magnum sting like crazy, but uh, this one's not so bad. Shooting arms core 357 Magnum full metal jackets out of it, comfortable. It jumps a bit. You know, I wasn't really trying to keep it from jumping too much, but it's snappy and I didn't want to feel the pain that much because, you know, I'm old and I break easy. But, you know, I decided to go ahead and put some 140 grain underwood in it and that was a little snappier. It stung a little bit, but that's when I'm at the range and, you know, and I'm not wanting to feel any pain. Not that I want to feel pain at other times. I'm not that kind, not that person, uh, but it got a little snappy, but if I was under duress and trying to defend my life, I don't think I would have noticed that at all. This gun is accurate. As you can see here, here's a target where you can see, you know, the first shot is in single action and then, you know, double action shots after that. This was at 40 feet. So this gun is plenty accurate at 40 feet. I don't think you need a gun like this for much beyond 40 feet, but I do like guns to be able to perform beyond 40 feet. But Expecting too much from this gun the first time I shot it would probably be unrealistic, so I was happy with what happened there. So I would say this gun is extremely well made. It is a Smith & Wesson, of course, so it's well made. It is 
easy to handle, it is super light, super easy to carry, shoots surprisingly easily, and like I said, it's very accurate. So what more could you want from a tiny little revolver? So I'm going to keep shooting this at the range and see how it does. If I continue to love it, this will probably take the place of my LCR as the gun that I carry when I can't carry my full-size gun. So, been very happy with it so far. I was really reluctant to try these uh, Scandium frame guns, simply because I don't think they'll hold up forever. And I finally decided to myself, you know, if it's a carry gun, it doesn't have to hold up forever. It's just got to be a gun that saves your life if you need it, and it's got to be easy to carry. It doesn't have to be the gun you hand down to your grandkids. So I thought, you know, why not try it? And so far, I've been happy that I tried it. Haven't changed anything. I thought I might change out these grips, but after I found out how comfortable they are, I'm going to leave them on there. Did change out the sight, but otherwise, it's still the same gun that I just bought. And like I said, very, very happy with it. Now, some people are wondering what this up here is. Some people think there's a scratch on the gun. That's actually just a shield for flame cutting because of the uh, uh, scandium frame here. I hope I didn't say titanium earlier. It's scandium frame. So that's what that is. It isn't a scratch. And these little dots you see around here, these are just steel pins because the pins can't be scandium. So for the people who's wondering what those were, that's what that is. So like I said, really happy with this gun so far. Hopefully I'll be able to get a pin back in the front sight so I can take it to the range again uh, this coming week. But for now, really happy with it. Definitely glad I bought it. And as of now, I would definitely recommend it.